What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Now with residency, I have been super busy and honestly, I have been neglecting my health, causing me to gain over 10 pounds since when I've started residency. So today I'm gonna talk to you guys about my strategies for losing weight in residency. <laughs> Obviously the video is gonna be centered around me and residency, but honestly these tips can be used for anyone who's in any kind of medical training or just really busy. All of these tips will apply to you guys as well. So if you guys do learn something and take something away from today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. So a little bit of background from me, if you guys are new to the channel, I was actually an NCAA division one gymnast. So if you don't know what that means, it's the highest level of sports you can do in college. As a gymnast, I was very strict with my diet and obviously exercised a lot, maybe working out three to four hours a day after classes. And typically we would have a one hour morning workout before classes. So I was very active in that. After I was done with gymnastics, I competed in NPC men physique very similar to bodybuilding shows except instead of a speedo you're wearing board shorts so I did diet down for 16 weeks it was not necessarily a healthy weight but I do have experience dieting down for several months making a meal plan and sticking to it and following it through so the new issue that I'm faced with is not the knowledge, but really applying that knowledge to the busiest time of my life, which is residency, where we do work about 72 hours a week. So currently I am up to about 180 pounds. Really my healthy weight is around 160, 165. I'll show you guys my 180 pound physique and what I look like at around 160 to 165 pounds. So the ultimate goal would be to end up around there, but really I just want to reestablish control of my health by eating a healthier diet, exercising more frequently, and being at a weight that I personally feel healthy at. So my first tip for achieving weight loss during residency or just being busy in general is gathering objective data consistently. So what I mean by that is you need to have some sort of data that you can track your progress daily. And typically the easiest way to do that is a scale and weighing yourself every single morning. So obviously our weight fluctuates throughout the day. That's why I prefer to weigh myself right when I wake up. I use the restroom and weigh myself because that is typically the most consistent your body will be from day to day. And that will give you the most accurate representation of tracking your weight progress from day to day. Obviously there will be fluctuations, sometimes you'll drop a lot of weight, sometimes you'll gain some weight from the day before. You just want to take into account the weekly average of weight progress. So my second tip would be making gradual changes to your diet. I would say diet is the majority to weight loss. It's not something that you want to change overnight. It will yield the best results if you change this gradually. So what I mean by that is I personally have not been making the best dietary decisions. If I'm super hungry, maybe I'll go grab that big burrito or I'll go to the pasta station and get a big Alfredo pasta, which is not the healthiest when they do have salads, they do have grilled chicken, they do have healthy healthier options at the cafeteria. So what I'll do to gradually make these changes is instead of grabbing these unhealthy options, I'll go ahead and maybe try and start incorporating more salads, incorporating more leaner meats into my diet. Instead of maybe eating cookies or ice cream for dessert, maybe I'll grab some fruit instead. Obviously drink more water because water will help your body feel full. If you are still hungry after eating your meal, chances are you probably didn't drink a ton of water as well. So make sure you're filling your belly up with some water, staying hydrated, and that will help satisfy your hunger as well. All right, we're turning on, I'm very thirsty. Nice job, Chris. Of course, there's only so much progress you can make by just switching to healthier options. At the end of the day, it's calories in versus calories out. Once you stop making progress by just making healthier dietary decisions, it is the best to actually track your food. There are several apps to help track your food. I personally use MyFitnessPal. If you guys have any other apps that you really enjoy using for tracking your food, make sure you drop them in the comments below. I personally count macros or macronutrients, which are your proteins, carbs, and fats. And then I will use that because I like some variation in my diet. So as long as I'm hitting the same protein, carbs, and fat a day, I know that I'm consistently getting around the same amount of calories in a day. 
and then that way I can track my food and decrease my calories gradually. If you guys have no idea how to do that, I do have a really old playlist on tracking macros, figuring out your, your own personal macros. I'll put the link to that up here, but if you guys are interested in an updated version, I can do that as well. All right, so like I said, diet is a huge part of weight loss. In residency, it's very, very hard. I'll try and meal prep to the best of my ability, but at the end of the day, I am gonna be relying a lot on the cafeteria or ordering food out. Um, it's just as long as I'm making those healthy decisions. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is obviously diet is a huge part, but exercise is arguably just as important as diet when trying to lose weight. So for exercise, I personally like using weights just because the nice thing about weights is weight training builds muscle mass. And the more muscle mass you have, the higher your basal metabolic rate is, meaning the more muscle mass you have, the more calories you burn at rest. Now, obviously you don't have to be super jacked like a bodybuilder or power lifter to, to lose weight. It's just any little bit of muscle mass, any little bit of fat that you can burn away and instead replace that with muscle, healthier off you will be and the easier it will be for you to lose weight. So weightlifting is nice, but you can only burn so many calories during a weightlifting session before your muscles fatigue and tire out. The other form of exercise I would encourage you all to do is cardio. So for cardio, just go ahead and pick your favorite cardiovascular exercise, whether it's walking on the treadmill, walking around your neighborhood, swimming in the pool, playing basketball, as long as you have some way to track a lot of fitness watches that are great for tracking cardiovascular activity, as long as you're able to track the intensity and time or even the calories during that session, you can gradually increase the amount of cardio you do and try and make it fun. Cardio can be really boring, but as long as you pick an activity that you enjoy, the easier it will be to get those cardio sessions in. As a resident, it's very hard to get exercise in. All you really need is 30 to 45 minutes a day to get some form of exercise in, whether it's weightlifting, a cardio session. I personally like to work out after a shift if I'm working a day shift or I'll work out before a shift if I'm working night shift. And if you're not able to do that, you can do laps around the hospital. Instead of taking the elevator, you can take the stairs. If you have free time, you can just go up and down the stairs. There are ways to be active. Bottom of the line is just get your body moving and get your body expending calories. All right, guys, the fourth tip that I have for you guys is mindset. Know that weight loss is a marathon, not a sprint. Your progress won't be linear you will be making two steps forward and one step back, but as long as you are on average losing weight, making healthier decisions, you will get to your goal eventually. And it'll take several months to achieve the goal weight or the goal body that you want. My personal goal is to lose about 1% of my total body weight for every one to two weeks. I know that if I wasn't in residency, I could easily lose 1% of my body weight every single week, but I know it's not necessarily feasible with my schedule. So I'll try and lose 1% about every one to two weeks. As long as I know that I'm reaching that goal eventually, there really is no rush. Really, patience is key. You gotta adjust your mindset and know that you're in this for the long haul. And don't look for quick results because quick results lead to binging. They lead to rebounding back to your old weight. I mean, you want this to be a lifestyle change. You don't want this to be just a quick fad diet and then go back to your old ways. But quick update on me, I'm currently on my last family medicine inpatient rotation for intern year. We do three for the first year, so this is my last go around. Pretty excited about that. After this rotation, I do have another newborn rotation. Then I have medical ICU, which will be very, very difficult. A lot of people do work about 80 hours a week on that rotation. So it may be a little bit hectic in May, but I will try my best to get videos for you guys. And as always guys, if you guys learned anything from today's video, make sure you drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. It greatly helps out the channel. And I greatly appreciate you guys for all of your support. If you guys have any other video recommendations, make sure you drop them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.